Welcome to Steve's Vintage Model Builds. And boy, the uh, the models are coming in fast and furious now. And so uh, uh, I just did a build on, or uh, I just did a video on, uh, a short video on uh, kits that I've completed, kits I'm working on. And, you know, in my house, I don't get to, you know, orders from the high command. I don't get to don't get to buy a new kit unless I build another, build one in the stash. So I'm doing that. I follow orders. I'm a good boy. <laughs> good soldier. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, so we got, uh, um, I'm expecting something special from Amazon tomorrow. And there will be an unboxing and review along with live chat on that. Uh, that will be on Monday, February 26th. At uh, 11 a.m. Pacific, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, and 7 p.m. GMT. So uh, I hope I hope everybody can can uh, join in, and uh, we usually have have some fun. Okay, so uh, today, <laughs> yeah, um, I had to go to the hobby shop to pick up a couple of kits that I ordered. Uh, one had to come from the warehouse, and the, the other one had to come direct from ICM. So, although there's uh, the Merkava on the uh, on the thumbnail here, we're going to be doing the unboxing and full review on that. The Academy uh, Merkava 135. Uh, there's also a couple other things here, and I just picked up on a lark. Here we go. up a nice little case for the, the Ford Coupe. Got a backdrop there of the, the bleachers, the drag race. Too bad they don't have any people there. Anyways, uh, yeah, that came with four different things. Oops. And unfortunately the case was cracked, but um, Matt gave me a deal on it. So, I mean, heck, half price. So, anyways, yeah, so, uh, there you go, not that much, and saw these for 10 bucks, uh, these are Vietnam era, um, I'm probably gonna try and, uh, <clears throat> get away with something else on that. Um, and so yeah, it's very basic. Uh, two, four, five figures. Um, this is uh, armored armored troops. So, um, but I'll be able to use them for something else. And Sorry, rivet counters, but I'm, I'm probably going to use it for something in the World War II stuff. Yeah. And uh, I might even use these drivers in the Merkava. Oh, the horror. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, thanks very much to all my subscribers uh, and uh, everyone who's uh, commented. And I appreciate all the encouragement, tips. Whenever I put a question out there, if I'm having an issue with something, uh, I usually get four, three or four responses back uh, with some very helpful advice. So I, I, I appreciate that and appreciate everybody who spends time with the channel. So uh, this one uh, had to be ordered in Canada. Um, there's only one, one distributor for ICM and it's in Toronto. Um, so uh, this took a couple weeks for me to get. I'm not. Uh, I'm just doing a flash review on this today. Um, I'll put up a card at the end. Uh, Peter Oxley did a did a wonderful review on this that actually prompted me to get this kit. And um, so uh, I, I'm not going to do a full review. I'm going to open the box and we'll take a look at it and maybe quickly run through the instructions. But it's not going to be one of the the usual long things. So. It's a 135 scale, uh, 
World War II Mobile Field Kitchen, LKWAHN, colloquially known as the Goulash Cannon. <laughs> Literal translation is Stew Cannon. <laughs> I don't know whether that was when they were serving it or the next morning at the latrine, but in any case, um, I thought it was an interesting and different subject. And so you get the you get the vehicle itself along with the the actual field kitchen. So uh, that's kind of fun. And we'll just open her up quickly here. So as always, we get the, uh, the beautifully sturdy ICM box. And as is customary with ICM, it's uh, one, one bag for all the screws plus a separate bag for the, uh, the clear parts. ICM decals and I think this is all new tool so uh, the part numbers are all on the sprues now, some of their older toolings and it can even be a mix um, because you'll get sprues of, of newer toolings and sprues of older toolings uh, but yeah uh, they always have a very nice very nice uh, sprue diagrams here uh, but the part numbers aren't always <laughs> accompanying them. But uh, that looks like uh, it's good here. So, yeah. And it looks pretty basic. The usual uh, very nice ICM instructions. Quite a few steps, but some of them are little, you know, like 37, 38 here. It's just a couple little things, 39. Uh, interesting looking front end. I think it's a Renault, actually. Although I'll have to check that. Oh, no, it's AHN, I guess, whatever AHN is. And, yeah, so there we go. Through step by step. Got everything there. And putting the, the field kitchen together. And notice this on wheels, it can be towed either by horse or automobile. And then they give you a color paint scheme. And there you go. So uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so now on to the star of the show, the Merkava. All right, so uh, this is an Academy kit, IDF main battle tank. Uh, that's for those who aren't familiar, that's the Israeli Defense Force. And just as with everything else, uh, the, uh, the Israelis are great uh, with whatever they need to use. They, uh, they use it most effectively. And the things that they make, they built for themselves, uh, tend to be very purpose suitable and very effective. Um, 
So it's a main battle tank. It's not as heavy as some other main battle tanks. Um, partly uh, part of the thought that went into the design was they needed something that uh, would also be suitable for urban warfare. Gee, I wonder why they thought they might need that. And so, uh, anyways, um, yeah, it's one of the best tanks in the world. Uh, this is the 50-year uh, anniversary, 1969 edition, 135th scale. Uh, they show the figures here, but I don't think they're included. Uh, I didn't see anything in the instructions when I looked it up on Scalemates. And it just says here, uh, this kit includes one tank model. Actual product can be a bit different than pictures shown on the box. It might be better if they just said figures not included, um, but in any case. Uh, so yeah, so we've got accurately reproduced ITF, I, IDF uh, Merkava Mark III, highly detailed hull, turret, and side skirts, realistic chain curtain of white metal included. And aside from the aircraft and uh, the, 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 you know, I had the swim wagon and a couple of other things, um, but this is the first uh, 135th scale academy. And uh, from what I've seen, uh, I expect this to be a bit of a step up uh, from the other academy kits I have. <coughs> uh, this one's uh, copyright 1999. Um, But I guess it was a new box for the 50th anniversary. So, uh, yeah, 2019. So that's that's pretty good there. And it's Academy catalog number 13267. As always with Academy kits, you get nice uh, nice after build reviews here. Let me see if we can get rid of some of the glare. It's not. There we go. There, sophisticated lighting department. Okay, so uh, yeah, and it says 14 plus. Uh, contains one unassembled model kit. Uh, easy to follow instructions. Blah blah da 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 da. Okay. About the part that says, you know, it, it might not look the same as what you see on the box. Well, uh, you'd think that would be pretty obvious in the most in most cases. Um, when I was looking at the classic cruiser here, checking the Amazon reviews. And uh, someone made the complaint that uh, it didn't look like what it showed on the box. Yeah. Um, so when you're looking up stuff like that, um, you know, look at the side of the box. Go on scale mates. It says on the side of the box it's molded in white plastic. And so, um, and then there's the decals. So, you know, if you just... Uh, it's like anything else, you know, same as when you go to the grocery store. Uh, the stuff inside hardly ever looks like <laughs> what they, what's on the package. Anyways, okay, yeah, so uh, fresh off here. Here we go. And we have clear plastic wrap. Box art here is signed. Can't read the signature. And always with Academy. Check with parts list before unsealing. Replace and return not guaranteed. 
when plastic is unsealed. Which, I guess, you know, in a kit like this can be a little problematic because there's a lot of stuff. Uh, you might not be able to tell right away if something's missing. But anyways, I'm sure they're pretty reasonable about it. In any case, uh, yeah, so right up front, be warned. Okay. And... All right, so... Lots of, lots of bags to open here. There we go. And a uh, little teaser, Monday's show is going to be especially of interest to uh, F1 racing fans. such as uh, Peter Oxley and uh, many of the gang over there. Okay, so here we go. Here we've got the top of the tank. And very nicely detailed. And all the vents. Hinges. Yeah, it's great. They've got a nice uh, stabilizer here so it doesn't get squished. We've got the turret, turret ring, likewise, lots of good detail there. Turret ring, it's a turret ring. Nicely molded though, I'm not seeing any flash. Okay, and here we've got the body. Um, it's a... Uh, a single tub as you can see and vinyl tracks well wow, my I think these are gonna need a soak <laughs> in the warm water uh, but they're they're very nicely detailed I don't know if you can see that nice detail good and sturdy And they will need a bit of softening up, I expect, at least uh, to apply them. And, uh, yeah. There you go. Some people don't like the vinyl tracks. Uh, uh, they'd rather put them together piece by piece by piece. Uh, my particular obsessive compulsive disorder does not uh, does not include that <laughs> I'm happy with the vinyl tracks I love the hobby I'm serious about the hobby but I'm not too serious about the hobby and I'm not too serious about myself either very aware of my own limitations not afraid to stretch myself but at the same time I'm not going to kill myself over it um, <clears throat> my father, uh, who was a wonderful man, bless his heart, uh, one of the kindest, thought, most thoughtful people you'd ever know, but he was a perfectionist. And, I mean, he was like, he was like, he was a terrible perfectionist. He was the kind of perfectionist in a, that if it, if it wasn't, perfect he'd practically throw it against the wall or, or trash it or whatever or he'd just walk away from it um, my <laughs> and when it came to his morning eggs I tell you my mother would always say I will not I, I except for poached eggs she would do poached eggs but uh, uh, she would not do fried eggs for her husband my father Because if they came out wrong, he was just livid. And he was the kind of person, too. I mean, if he did it himself and they didn't come out the way he liked it, he pinned them. Uh, which is a shame. Because they're all the same once they get down past your throat. But anyways, uh, you know, th that kind of perfectionism can be a real curse. 
sorry, Dad, but yeah, I mean, that's that's the way it is. You know, there's a difference between, you know, you'll know it's there or because you'll know it's there and, you know, trashing the whole thing because there's one, one little imperfection or you made a mistake. So, anyways, not going to get into Dad's stuff about that. Okay, so here we go, and yeah, um, we've got individual bags here. What have we got? One, two, one, two, three. Uh, two with two, two with three. Uh, one with one. Also includes some rope here. I guess that's probably for a what do you call it? A winch. So we'll take a look at this. Okay. Take a look at this. <coughs> this is my first uh, quote unquote newer Academy kit, uh, even though it's not that new. The quality of the plastic is very nice. You know, I, I don't want to offend anybody or get in trouble for saying anything, but it, it's pretty hard to go wrong with the uh, the Japanese and the South Koreans. Um, uh, not only are they just wonderful people, uh, but they have such a terrific approach to, to things. And um, uh, some of it learned from the West, certainly. Uh, but, uh, you know, everything from the food to the culture to, you know, so many other things. Um, you know, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, and yeah, so we've got, uh, we've got these vinyl pieces here, separators, spacers, whatever, for the the wheels, and they are vinyl, and here, we've got, look at that suspension, holy cow, uh, and a teeny tiny little parts here, but there's, there's absolutely no flash whatsoever, uh, this looks like it's been cut somehow, or something, but, I mean, it, it, it's the sprue, so who cares, um, There we go, and uh, this looks like the chain armor, but it doesn't look like white metal to me, so anyways, that goes back to, oh, okay, whatever, I'm not going to. Metal on plastic bottles is difficult anyways. <laughs> you gotta sand it down, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, blah, 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 blah. And you know, in the end, you might as well just paint plastic. But I know some people, they wanna do it different, and they're welcome to do that. More power to you. That's one of the wonderful things about our hobby. There's so much you can do just on your own. You can make it your own. Okay, so here we go. There's a nice little piece of string. More suspension, uh, sprocket wheels, machine guns, axe, fire extinguisher. Ooh, lots of lovely little details.
Again, no flash. Here. Nicely heat sealed. No, uh, no Hotchkiss fasteners. <laughs> but Zinzown pointed it out to me, and yeah, it's true. Yeah, my laugh is a bit of a cackle. I, I hope it doesn't irritate you too much. Uh, I'm just having fun. Okay, here we go. Uh, we got the side skirts. Hatch. Da -da -da -da. My goodness. Look at that detail. There's some fabulous stuff there. Look at, look at these guys. Got more stuff there. Very nice. I'm uh, very impressed, uh, as Peter Sellers would say. And uh, yeah, here we've got more details and uh, side pieces and this is and that's very nice. And again, uh, no flash, not seeing anything. Really incredible. I didn't mention it in my update, <clears throat> but uh, Project X is uh, actually nearing completion, and uh, be showing that off at some point. A decal set here. I'm not going to open the package. Uh, not sure what this says in Hebrew. Maybe it says death to Islamic Nazis. I don't know. Um, I'm actually trying to learn Hebrew, but I don't want to get into that right now. Oh, this is, you can open, but this is already open, so that'll give you a little better idea. Okay, now, you get the little tech tips. Uh, Tamiya does these too. Others do it as well, but Tamiya and Academy. And, uh, you know, if you're just starting out, the, you know, this is what you need. Uh, side cut tells you what you need, how to use them. Uh, very nice. Uh, they tell you about the... the they recommend cement in a bottle is best, and uh, they give you an enamel color set, paint brushes included. Um, I can't see if that's Academy brand, but in any case, uh, nicely do that. I'm always wary of the sets that come with brushes. The brushes usually aren't very good. But hey, you can always use it for something. Okay. And we have uh, this fold out. Okay, here's what we've got. We've got a separate shape, uh, sheet for painting and decaling, not in color. No 
notes here before starting to assemble, before cutting parts, avoid blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so here we go with the instructions. Uh, again, they, they show with the two figures. <clears throat> I mean, stuff is what it is, but, you know, I really think, you know, they should say figures not included somewhere. But anyways, uh, you know, if you do your research, it's easy enough to look up something on scale mates or whatever the case may be. And uh, <clears throat> uh, they give you the paints here, uh, their numbers, the colors, Humbrol, GSI Creos, Life Color, Testers, Model Master, Enamel and Acrylics. And, you know, there's the usual glossary for what means what. Alright, so let's open her up and let's see if we get inside here. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is a little different. Uh, they have you assembling the uh, the turret first, the turret and gun. Oh, and unfortunately, yes, for Academy rats, they don't give you any. They don't give you any subject information. <clears throat> I really wish they would. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, easy enough for people to look up. Uh, you know, I, I already touched on it. Uh, the Israelis developed this tank for themselves uh, with, an eye, uh, with a mind for urban warfare. And, uh, or, you know, in small quarters and or, or tight quarters, whatever the case may be. And, but they aren't small. Um, in any case, yeah, they're, they're wicked looking. Do good. So, <laughs> I like this. Sinai Gray. Gee, I wonder, I wonder where that got named after. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so here we go. And it, it's fold out. Okay, so we start with the, the turret. A lot to do with the turret. Look at all this stuff for the turret. Can you see that? Turret, turret, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun. Can it, gas can. Cherry cans, whatever you want to call them. Uh, then we get into some of the wheels and sprockets. Attaching everything to the tub. Uh, use the hot knife, hot screwdriver uh, technique. Uh, or you can use the Hotchkiss fastener technique. And actually what I found was um, uh, for this kind of thing, if you use the Hotchkiss fasteners, or otherwise known as staples, uh, to hold them together while you do the while you do this uh, makes things a lot easier. It makes life a lot easier. A lot easier than taping them down, trying to do that. But anyways, okay. So uh, yeah, so um, we go from here. Then we put the top on. It indicates here. You know, this just goes in. It rotates back and forth. Um, yada da 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 da. Various different sub assemblies. The skirts, attaching the turret, and then there's the, the sprue. As they call it the parts locating diagram. 
I don't know if this is more screws than what they're showing here. But uh, in any case, there you go. It's all there. There it is. And then we've got the painting and decal placement. They just give you body color, number 11, which is whatever number 11 is. Number 11 is Sinai Gray, which I expect is some kind of a desert kind of gray. Um, yellow, yellowish gray. I'll have to look that up. And they give you the different decals here. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. On the sides, on the back. Geez, there's all sorts of little tiny ones here. And so yeah, so there it is. That's it. I should mention the uh, retail price on this was about $45. Uh, you know, by the time all was said and done, it was like $43, 40, or sorry, $53, $55 by the time taxes were paid and everything. But uh, looks like a great kit. I'm not disappointed whatsoever. Alright, so now we come to ratings time. And as always, I'll put up a card. I, I did a video on uh, in depth on how I how I do my ratings. Uh, basically, it's a 12 point scale, 10 standard points, uh, 2 for packaging, 2 for sprues, 3 for parts, and 3 for instructions. Quarter point bonus for any wow factors, anything unexpected or it's a wow and um, up to one full point uh, for value <clears throat> as I always say I look at value in not only what I paid for the kit uh, but also you know uh, you know how, how many hours of enjoyment entertainment uh, satisfaction am I going to get out of it um, not frustration <laughs> hello certain companies anyways okay so um, for packaging, uh, I got this. I got this direct from the hobby shop, uh, so everything was perfect. Two full points there. Uh, sprues were complete. Uh, there was no flash. I, I didn't see any molding bubbles, holes, nubs, ejection pin marks where they would be awkward, anything like that. So that's a full two points and a quarter point bonus. Uh, as far as parts are concerned, the quality of the plastic is excellent. Uh, the detail is, again, very good to excellent. There were no warped or broken parts that I could see. And uh, the decals were adequate and sufficient. Um, I, these might be a little different than some of the other Academy decals I've worked with. But, uh, again, the caution is you have to be very careful with them. You don't want to leave them in the water too long, uh, you know, 10, 15 seconds, that's it. And uh, you want to be very careful when you're applying them, because uh, if they curl up or get folded on themselves, uh, you might as well just find more decals. <laughs> okay, so uh, that brings us to a, a total of 10.75 out of 12, uh, which is a very respectable score. Uh, give it a half a point for value. Um, you know, it's a reasonably priced kit, under 50 bucks. 
at least re, you know before tax and uh, lots of parts lots of detail and you know I suppose the only thing you could fault him for was no no figures but Academy never does figures I don't think they do so and I looked around I couldn't find any IDF figures anywhere so it might be I have to use this guy and this guy I'm sure if we paint them up nice uh, nobody will be able to tell the difference okay so just over 40 minutes today uh, we had those uh, couple of extra little things and as I said I'll put up the uh, the card for <clears throat> excuse me for Peter Peter Oxley's um, review of the the goulash canon and uh, oh and also a shout out for uh, for uh, buddy Zinzan um, always really helpful and he's also now on Substack um, he's, he's very eloquent excellent writer uh, and I can say that as having been a professional writer at a certain point in my life uh, he's an excellent writer expresses himself wonderfully and uh, he's very thoughtful as well so uh, he's got something up there on, on the Spitfire uh, basically he calls them ruminations uh, just thoughts he's having and so on and so forth and um, so uh, yeah so check out Zinzan Substack if, if you're not following him already <coughs> excuse me all right uh, so that's it for this video um, something special coming tomorrow and as I said we'll have that on uh, on Monday uh, with a live chat and uh, Something else coming next week, and I'll have a review on that. So, uh, lots going on here at uh, Steve's Vintage Model Builds. Lots of builds going on. Actually, I'm in a little bit of a hurry because spring is here almost, and I'm going to be real busy in the garden. And um, so, I uh, won't have that much time for model kits, but I will have time for model kits. So, um, yeah. Um, Thanks for everyone. Thanks to everyone. Oh, 370 subscribers as of today. Woohoo! Yay! Thank you all very much. I appreciate it. <coughs> um, it's good to know that, um, in, in spite of all my foibles and flaws, that uh, people enjoy and appreciate what I'm doing. And so. Uh, Anyone who always, uh, who anyone who stops in at any time is always very welcome. Always glad to uh, to have comments, uh, feedback, and I haven't said this for a while, but all I ask is that you know please keep it respectful, and uh, bear in mind that uh, younger people might be watching this. Uh, I wish. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, you know, if I've made a mistake, sure, fine, let me know. Um, but, you know, if you want to just troll around, I mean, got no time for that on that, on this channel. <coughs> Excuse me. We's respectable folk here. All right, so uh, thanks again, and uh, we will uh, see you very soon, uh, probably next on a live chat. Hope you can join me. Bye.